Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geekamad, I am Penge and it is time for a little bit more Farm Manager. So last time out I was potentially a little bit mean because we built this, we built the large juice factory, oh come on, call it a large juice factory, give us some credit, we didn't build the little one, we built the large juice factory, this is a large juice factory everybody, come and gawp at the largeness of the juice factory, thank you very much. So we built the large juice factory, number one, I'm ambitious, I don't know if we'll have another one, and um, we did nothing with it. It was built and then nothing happened. So it's just been sat there. It's brand new. The paint inside is still drying. So this episode, most of this video, will be about getting this thing actually working and doing something. Because it's expensive. It costs us $392. Uh, dollars. I assume it's dollars. I don't really know. 392 units of money to run per month. Plus it cost us just over half a million. I think it was 520 to build. Yes. 520,000 monies to actually put together in the first place and that's a bit cheaper I think it was 600,000 initially but we reduced it with some of our training stuff uh, also just to point out beekeeping training is going on so we should get some more honey at the end of it and that brings me on to something I just wanted to start with and that was a few people have made a few comments about the honey and they are quite right in what they have said and they have said You've not put the honey onto the auto trading option, but worry not. That's by design. You're absolutely right. I haven't, but that is intentional. And that is because I tend to sell the honey in bulk. I tend to keep hold of it because it has a very, very, very long shelf life, honey does. Let's have a quick look at this here, coals of honey. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's quite a lot of money is going for the coals of honey right now. Do you know what? I'm going to sell that before it dips back down again. So there we go. <laughs> That's exactly how it works. I will check the markets every so often and um, and then, yeah, sell it when the price is higher. But yeah, that honey went off in May, I think it was. So yeah, we had another three months to sell that. So don't worry. You are absolutely right. I've not set the honey to auto trade, but that is by design because I tend to check the market prices because honey seems to go wildly, kind of goes up and down and up and down. So um, yeah, I keep the honey and sell it all off in bulk in one big go for a nice massive great payoff like you saw just then that was 40 grand that was a 40 grand payoff that is lovely so um yes i tend to keep it all and sell it in one big go so thank you for pointing out and keep comments like that coming because at some point there are going to be things that i have absolutely missed that i've messed up and you will point it out and i'll be able to rectify so yes keep the comments coming thank you very much okay so on to making this actually work so it takes five employees, so we are going to have to build an employee house, and it's going to be a permanent one. It's going to be uh, this one here. It's going to be, no, not that one. That's a shed. Uh, they don't want to live in a shed. They don't they like that. A house for permanent employees. We're going to build one of those. However, I don't know where the front of this building is, because as we saw in the last part, as we had a quick look around the edge, uh, around the outside, it's got many doors. There's three doors on that side. There's a door there. There's three doors and then some fancy pants sort of doors there. Uh, there's no doors on that side, so definitely the way in is not there. But I don't quite know where the way in is for the juice factory. However, if I introduce these as an example, there's a sort of garage door thing on the front of those, which is where generally the front of the building is. And here are the five garage doors. So the trucks, the little sort of vehicles, the collection vehicles, will drive out of these garage doors, drive along, pick up the fruits from wherever they've been put, so probably in there, so pick up the cherries or the apples or whatever it is, and come back and drop them back into the juice factory. That's what I will assume is going to happen. So I think this is the front. I'm going to put this at the front of the building. This this is the front. So I'm going to build the house here. Now, if it transpires that this is not the front of the building and they have to go out the house and walk all the way round, which is a bit slow, what we'll do is we'll build another uh, employee residence on that side and move them all over and then demolish this one. However, there are plans afoot here because at some points, this juice factory is going to be very busy indeed. It's going to be doing an awful lot of stuff because we're going to harvest these. I'm going to harvest apples, we're going to harvest cherries, we're going to send them into the juice factory. They're going to be working absolutely over time to produce much in the way of lovely bottled drinks, and that should be splendid. However, most of the year, these are going to be growing. They're either going to be like this, so wintry and, you know, twiggy, like they are now, twiggy orchards, or they're going to be growing across through the summer, uh, spring and summer. This thing, therefore, is not going to be doing anything if it's not processing the apples or the cherries. But it can also make, excitingly, da -da -da -da, tomato juice. So we're going to need to put some greenhouses down, as we discussed previously. So the greenhouses, I think, need to go over here. So I think what we do is, let's get ourselves, let, let's just, let's experiment, shall we? House for permanent employees, drop that, say, uh, just there. Now, can we, if my, my plan is, build this road out along here, 
that's fine. And then have greenhouses along here, so where the cursor is going, sort of along there. Because then if the, there's a house here for employees, they can simply walk into there, go bush, 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 tomatoes, great. However, they're going to need a storage area. Could we fit a storage area just here? That would be really nice. Also, we want to extend this road coming out as well. We want that to come down here as well, kind of out this way. Because that's going to be really useful at some point. Yeah, I don't know how far it needs to come out to go back around that way. But that could be very, very useful. So can we fit... Is this possible to fit in an employee house? I don't care if it's pointing on the road or to another side road. Because I can still get in fairly quick. Uh, and a storage thing. And another uh, employee house. I don't know. I don't think we can. However, it's quite hard to check. I need to press the right button though. Pressing the right button would certainly make things a lot easier. So if we were to have one there okay that'll be fine it goes into the middle of that fence near that trough thing so uh yeah okay that's fine that would sit there so oh dear me this is quite hard to do so to sort of there ish so how many fence panels is that one two uh, one two three four five six so that's up to the sixth line in that fence that's kind of up to about that line there okay how about a big house then a big house a big storage thing Small warehouse even, not big, small. Will that fit? Will that fit and allow us to have both the employee houses on that other side? I don't know if it will. That's a little bit irritating, isn't it? I don't know if that will. Can we have that like there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh you know what? You know what? We might be we might be pushing it a bit. I think that I think we might be able to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could in theory yeah, it has to go there. So if we drop the storage thing just here, right, here we go. Th this could go wrong. This could go really wrong. And I'm expecting it to go wrong, particularly if I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep seeing that button and thinking, yeah, it's that. But no, it, th this, th the worker houses button is the same as the workers button, <laughs> which is why I keep doing that. Right, so that could fit just there. So that's going to have to sit. Right, let's, put, let's build the road over the front of this now. So that can come down like that and meet up with that road. Just there, which is fine. The road building's a little bit wibbly still, isn't it? Come on, snap to the next square. There we go. And that down there, because double roads are a good thing. Do you know what? I think we might be able to... Stop doing that! <laughs> we might be okay. We might be okay in doing this. We've got one there, and one for the greenhouse worker. Yes! Okay, that worked out surprisingly well then. Yes, that looked like I knew what I was doing. That looked like I'd actually planned that. No, no, that was pure fluke. Pure chance and fluke. So along here, we can build many greenhouses. So let's get ourselves... Uh, I don't know how many we need right now. Maybe five, possibly? Let's start with five, shall we? One, uh, two... Let's try and tilt the camera up a little bit. Uh, oh, are we going to fit enough on this road? Three, four, and five. And that road can then continue up here anyway. That's fine, because we might... Uh, we might want to build on that tile at some point, that sort of spot of land up there. And we've got room here for something as well, so we can put some more stuff here if we want to. That's five greenhouses. That's very exciting. I like that. Paved road round the back of the greenhouses, because I think they need a road at the back as well. So let's just drag that up here. So we fill that with as many greenhouses as we can. Joe, you know what? Why not? Let's go for it. Let's go crazy let's should we put a road there though there's a little gap in the middle because otherwise if they come out that door they've got to go all the way around i mean they, i don't know why they don't walk to the middle of the greenhouses but they won't do will they so if we put a little path like that they can walk around there and then let's do yeah i'm sure i do selected that do a couple more i think we can fit a couple more greenhouses into there yeah there we go so drop one and two more in. Yes. Okay. Now, ideally, I should have put a road in the middle there. Should have put a little path in the middle between these. But you know what? I didn't. And never mind. I shall have to live with that. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. I'm sure it shall be fine. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, seven greenhouses for tomatoes. So these are going to grow tomatoes to keep this place going when there's no apples and cherries coming in. Now, I could buy the apples and cherries in. But that's going to be expensive, and I'm going to not make that much profit, really. If I'm buying apples and cherries, putting them into here, turn them into juice, I'm going to have to keep it buying things in, and it's all going to get complicated. So I thought, do you know what? In the downtime, tomato juice, because it still sells. Not as much as the other two, but it still sells. 
And then when that's coming in, when we've got the fruit in, the proper fruit, we'll switch off tomatoes for a bit and then properly churn out cherry juice and apple juice until it's all gone, then go back to tomatoes again. Right, okay, the construction work is underway. The two employee houses are done, a couple of the greenhouses are done, and the small warehouse storage area is done. So this one here, let's hire ourselves some people that are good at working in factories. In fact, we've already got one person, haven't we? Where are you? An unemployed person. Well, he's employed, he's not doing anything. Luke Long. Right, Luke, relocate yourself to not that one, not that one. Uh, number six, there we go. House for employees number six. Because he's been sat there doing nothing. He was kind of a victim of a bug of one of these. I can't remember whether it was the um, slaughterhouse or the milk processing plant. But one of them. He was a sort of victim of one of the bugs. It didn't work and he was kind of trapped. And uh, No, someone else was trapped and we bought him as a replacement, didn't we? To make sure that everything could keep working. So that's fine. That's good. We're not making much in the way of cheese. We seem to have a lot of milk and not very much cheese again. Can we ever make some cheese? Are you making cheese? Oh, you are. It just seems to be very slow recently. Maybe they've nerfed the cheese production in the um, one of the recent updates, possibly. Uh, okay, everything's done over here. That is tremendous. That looks very, very good. Right, now we need to get ourselves in, please. So there goes Luke. Luke Long meandering in. He's opened the door and now he's... Oh, <laughs> he teleports into the house. That's what Luke does. He just teleports. He's cool like that. So we need to get some people that are good. Oh, look at this. Well, we'll have you into whatever house you're in. Which number is it? Not that one, not that one. Six. It was six, wasn't it? Right, you into six. Uh, you into six. That's three people to work in that place already. That's very good. Uh, no, we don't need you. Oh, Joseph Brown. 503. And he's already maximum skilled. Yes, we'll have you. And anyone else? Am I going to go to fluke it? No, I'm not. Right, I've got to do the sort of slightly... I always felt like this is a little bit cheaty, but the slightly cheaty refreshing thing. Let's see if there's anyone else in here. Ryan Osborne, 527. Do you know what you'll do? Oh, no. There you go. Violet Reese, 477. I've got to train you up a bit, but over the months, I'm sure that'll be fine. So, Violet, go into there. Splendid. Right. Let's train all these people up. I've got that training thing. Train any worker to the max level. So, I should get a little reward thingamabob for that. Yay. Go me. That's exciting. Right. Get all these people done. Five and Violet. There we go. So, five people are done. Now, we can assign them into here. So let's assign Luke. Where do you go, Luke? You you teleport back into existence from where whichever dimension you went, and then you walk through the wall, and then you open the door from the inside. Luke, are you feeling okay? Are you feeling all right, Luke? Right, let's watch where he goes. Because if he goes round the other side of the building, that's going to be a bit of an annoyance. Oh, crikey. <laughs> he comes to run over. Now he's just stood looking at the building. Aha, yes, they go to the front door. He doesn't teleport into that building. Okay. That's very good news. Okay, uh, Jackson with an X. That's a that's a cool name. Uh, right, we'll have Violet and we'll have Elsie and we will have Joseph. Right, so they can all go into that building. Oh look, I've, you know, I've never really looked at the character modelling on this book. They're all well, not all different, but I mean there is enough variation. To, there isn't just generic man template, generic woman template. You know, they also look different. They've got blue, and he had camouflage on, and the other guy had a red baseball hat, and these don't, and all that kind of stuff. So at least, you know, they've bothered to make them a bit different. That's quite cool. So the first thing I really want to do is, I want to go into the economy bit, go into trade, I want to find tomatoes, and I want to turn off selling them, because I don't want to sell them anymore. At the minute, I've been growing them in one of the other greenhouses, and I've just been selling them. Now I don't want to sell them. Do you know what? Let's untick that, and then turn that off as well, just to make doubly sure just to make sure. So I want to turn off the tomatoes and then I want this place to spend all of its time 100% on tomato juice because we've got nothing else to do. Now I don't think we've got any tomatoes in stock. Let's turn off the sheep cheese. Let's turn off the wool. Uh, let's put in tomatoes just to see when I've got some if I ever get any. Uh, no, that's apples. They're a bit different. Where are tomatoes in this massive list? Oh, dearie me. Right, I might have gone past them. No, there they are. Yay. Right, so I've got zero tomatoes at the minute. Right, is one of these ready to go? Strawberries are ready to go. Okay, well, let's get those anyway. Okay, good. So, plan now then. We need to grow our own tomatoes. So this place, uh, yeah, spent... Oh, crap. We're going to spend a lot on all the irrigation systems for these. I hadn't noticed that. That's quite nice. When you switch the irrigation system on... Let's have a look at this one. We switch it on... And a sort of grid appears above it, look. A little pump thing in the corner, presumably plumbed in somehow. And then, yeah, look, it must spray water on them from up on high. Oh, that's quite a nice touch. 
I hadn't noticed that before. That's quite cool. I like that. Right. Now there. Put irrigation into all of these. That's absolutely fine. So this is an expensive outlay. This juice process is fairly costly, to be honest. Right. This house here. We want to get ourselves six people that are good at working with well, harvesting crops. That have got the little harvesting thing. So you, so Roman Stone. You've got a tremendous name, Roman Stone. Uh, you can go into seven, so I know what's going on. So you can go into house number seven. Uh, you, Ellen Bird, you have got the strength thing as well as the harvesting thing. So you can definitely come into house seven. So that's two. Uh, right, everyone else is a seasonal worker. Okay, right, I'm going to go and just make sure we've got six people in here. Six people. Do you know what? Do we get nine people? eight in here we've got space in there let's get nine people let's get nine people that are good at working with the harvest and we can just keep this going and when they're not required they can just come up here and help out over here which is very very exciting also auto insemination thing is absolutely flipping fantastic thank you dev thank you for putting that in oh the amount of unnecessary clicks i've had to do the amount of little notifications that i just can ignore now <laughs> is brilliant it just ticks over all by itself it is really very very good i like it a lot so thank you very much for putting that in that's that's it's made such a difference to the game it's improved the flow of the game no end right let's go through then let's get ourselves nine employees so currently we've got two we're going to need to get quite a few more people in do you know what? I don't think we need nine people. I think eight is fine to get all these uh, tomatoes sorted. So eight out of eight, look, eight out of eight people in here, it's a mixture of either people that have got the harvesting skill or the harvesting skill with the strength skill. I think there's a couple of those, is there? One, two, three. Oh, three of them. Splendid. So we can up that. So yeah, it takes three people to fully harvest one of these when you go to the harvesting. Three people can fit in a greenhouse to work on it. So I think even if we have two, two teams working at full pace in two greenhouses, that's six people. Another greenhouse with two people will still not take too long. So I think we'll keep the space in this in this house here for something else. We've got three sort of slots left for employees in this house. So yeah, maybe we build something over here or something just here that might require something. Maybe we build a little mini factory or something like that. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's, that's good. I think we're sorted for that. Now we need to go to the uh, slightly less glamorous job of plowing and getting all this ready so um yeah let's get everybody in to do this let's just get every single person in to work on this in fact you know what we need to do first we need to go through here and up everyone's skills that's what we need to do because we might as well have them working at their most optimal and it's not like we're short of a few quid is it we've got 800 and whatever it is grand so yes we'll um we'll up these like that this is all good and not many left you and are you the last one coming up? No, there's a couple more. Wowee. Okay, yeah, I thought we were further through the list. Okay, Elian Moss, the last of them. So there we go. Splendid. So everybody is now leveled up in there. So we can get as many people as we want to come in and start doing all the work on these. Because, yes, we need to plough them. We need to plant the uh, tomatoes in them. We need to fertilise them. All that kind of stuff. So everybody, literally everyone, just come in and do some stuff. So we've already got four of them being worked on. Anyone else lying around? Yep, you're the fifth. That's five done. Have we got other people that are not doing anything? I don't think we have now. Elin Moss, so in fact the one we just saw. Uh, okay, on your own. Do you know what? Yeah, why not? By the time that's gone, at least you're doing something. It'll take a long while, but at least you're doing something, and that's absolutely fine. Okay, a uh, little thing for rabbits. We're not ever going to do that. Goodbye. Farewell, little mission to grow some rabbits. Right, well, let's get all this done. Let's get all this sorted. Look, everybody plows in now. Everybody from the farm is in on operation. Sort out the greenhouses so we can grow tomatoes in them. I mean, it's not the catchiest operation name, but it's kind of descriptive and does what it says in the tin, I guess. Ah, now this is interesting. Just here, the existing greenhouse we've got that grows tomatoes is ready to actually harvest them. So if we go through and harvest those tomatoes, they should put them into the storage area, probably this one here. And then the people in the juice factory should come and pick them up because they've actually now got something to do. Oh, when it's coming up to springtime, it's going to get very busy all of a sudden. There's going to be a lot going on. So yes, they should put them in here. And then we should be turning them. Oh, we've got 248 tomatoes. So we should be turning them into juice. There goes the little truck. The little truck is already... Oh, it's oh, there's a traffic jam. There's a traffic jam. Yep, yeah, it's driving around. It's picked up. The thing, go that way. Go a different way. And it's going to go in here. And they're going to actually start making tomato juice. Okay, this is very exciting. This is very exciting. Yep, they're making tomato juice. Splendid. Spring is here. So we've got plenty to do now. Spring has indeed sprung. But yeah, this is very exciting. This is good. So what we'll do is as well, when this 
well, all these greenhouses are uh, fully oper fully operational. When the, the, all the greenhouses are, are fully operational greenhouses, uh, what we'll do is we'll put the tomatoes, obviously, are all in there. We'll take tomatoes out of here and we'll put something else and We'll put maybe peppers in here or something because the peppers seem to be quite profitable and they're fairly quick to grow as well, which is very, very nice. Okay, what's gone on over here then? So all these are ready, are they? And at the end one, I think they're all ploughed. Right, now, apart from this one. So let's do that. Let's get that plowed and now take sienna more out right hang on hang on hang on pour, slow time down a little bit you can go and do that that's absolutely fine now look oh look <gasps> the orchards have sprung into life okay so this is what a pear orchard looks like everybody this looks very very exciting so a pear orchard looks cool right we've got loads of tomatoes this is very exciting. Uh, a regular orchard for apples. And then a cherry orchard. Oh, the cherry orchard kind of looks paler than the others. The cherry tree's a little bit paler. They've got whiter blossoms on them. Oh, that looks really lovely. That's nice. Okay. So how are you guys doing in the juice plant? This is very good. Have you made any juice yet at all? Yes, you have. We've got 325 ooze of tomato juice. This is very, very exciting indeed. Goodness me. We're going to have a lot of tomato juice. This is very cool. Okay. So how, how much can we sell it for? Can we sell the tomato juice? It's not quite flagging up on the thing just yet. So, okay, we'll have to wait for it to appear on there. Also, the temperature will slowly start creeping up. Now, yes, it has been pointed out, I mentioned it last time, that when the temperature gets above 10 degrees C, the bees come out and start doing stuff. So we might have timed this quite well, because that training will probably be done, and they produce more honey for the bees, uh, from the bees, just when the temperature's going to go up. So that's quite well timed. Oh, no, there are insects on one of our fields. Which one? Ah, no, it's on the nice one. Right, okay, quick, go and sort that out. So we've got various soil moisture issues. So we're going to need to sort this out as well. Okay, well, let's do... That one's not too bad. Uh, that one is going to need that. But I think we do the insects first. So let's go and do that. Let's choose anti-insect spray. Let's do a machine. The ultra tractor with the orchard spray with Sienna. Driving splendid. Now, do I want to get myself another orchard tractor and another person that can drive a tractor? Because then we'll have four people look after these orchards. And in all honesty, we might well expand the orchards out to over here. We might get another couple of orchards in. A couple of bigger orchards. Which might be quite nice. I think that sounds like a good, fun thing to do. Let's, if she's on her own in there, Sienna Moore is all on her own. Who can she have to go and drive a truck with her? Drive the tractor. Sorry, not trucks. and drive trucks. Um, there's no one really apart from Sienna Nichols. <laughs> okay, so Sienna Nichols could do that. Now, you could have Ella Woods. She can also do the harvesting when it comes to it, maybe over winter. 554 per month. So she's going to be 1,200 more over a year-ish. I don't think that's worth it. Now, let's just get Sienna. So Sienna and Sienna can both drive the tractors. That's very exciting. I like that. Right. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Like that. Then let's get ourselves another orchard tractor because it's not like we're short of a few quid. So let's go into the machine market. Let's get eventually when it decides to load. Yes, come on. Uh, get ourselves tractors. Another orchard tractor. Now, are there any for sale ones? Bad, bad condition for for nineteen grand, or bad condition for eight grand? I know that's a Riga tractor. No, I don't want that. Let's buy a new one. Why the heck not? Eh? Let's do it. Put it into the medium brick garage over there. That is very cool. Right. Okay. Yes. Now we should be able to cope with both of the demands of these. So yeah, we'll have two tractors and two people being able to help with uh, sorting out our orchards because this is going to be a big thing. This is going to be a big, big thing for us. Um, how do we get the tomato juice out? How do we take it out of the warehouse? We've got 975 ooze of it now. Can we extract it from the warehouse yet? Because I'd quite like to sell it at some point. Can we sell it from here? Or does it not count that we can sell it because it's not actually in one of our um, warehouses yet? We can sell all this other stuff, look. But no, the tomato juice is not actually appearing yet. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I'll wait. That's okay. Meanwhile, let's go and do all these. So that's being worked on. We now need to cultivate all of these. Goodness me, this is getting complicated, isn't it? Right, Sienna, no. Don't do that. It's fine. You two can do that. Oh, no. Insects on another field. Ah, oh, dearie me. Um, also, before we do that, I think this is possibly more important, thinking about it. We need to plough these. Yes, destroy that. Autofill. Not Sienna. Anyone else but Sienna, Lily Coleman, that'll do. And then this field here also needs obliterating because otherwise the bees are going to make the wrong kind of honey. They're going to make the cheap rubbish honey. So, um, yeah, we don't want that. Uh, pick anyone, literally anybody else. Um, 
you, Ellen Moss, that'll do. Go and do that. I need to work on those fields. How's our little orchard doing here? Oh, that just needs spraying a bit, does it? It's that field. Okay, that's fine. Insects. Autofill. Not you. Uh, you. Sophie Jordan can go and do that. That's absolutely fine. And then we might as well get this cultivated. Well, we can. Autofill. Take you out and put Seren Stevenson in. Right, okay. Everyone is very busy. There is an awful lot going on on the farm. Right, the other orchard tractor has arrived, so I'm going to water this field, hopefully. So the sprinkler, the orchard tractor, Sienna Nichols, is going to go out and do that, because those two fields need watering quite badly. That one as well. This one, not so much. The apple orchard is fine. The cherry orchard could do with watering, once all the other stuff is done, obviously. Um, yeah, okay, so that's fine. There we go. Ah, right, we have some tomato juice. So the tomatoes are gone. The tomatoes have vanished. Uh, I assume they haven't gone off. I assume they haven't gone off. I assume we've took them all into there. So, yeah, maybe I need to work out what their rate of production is. 300 kilograms of tomatoes to make some tomato juice. Or did they just take them all? Maybe they've taken them all and put them into the juice factory so it disappears out of my sort of selling options. So we've got 975 units of tomato juice. Let's see what that makes. Let's have a look. Please be good. Please be good. Goes off in October, so it has quite a long shelf life. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, okay. It's a bit low at the minute in terms of price. So I think we wait for a while. Do you know what I would like on this? I would like a date on this graph. Like, I don't know whether that was 10 days ago or 3 months ago, that particular peak just there. So if it said October last year, I could think, ah, right, okay, in October tomato juice was selling pretty well. Maybe next October it will sell well again. I shall keep it for then. So yeah, I'm going to keep that tomato juice. It lasts a long while. So we've got until the 14th of October at least to sell it, uh, at the latest, sorry, to sell it. So that should be fine. I think we'll be okay with that. I think we'll be okay. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on the price for the um, tomato juice, but that is fine, I think. But look, it's actually made a thing. We've made some tomato juice. It's very exciting. Now, the weather is very inclement at the moment. It is indeed April shower season, which is good because it means that the uh, soil moisture is not declining too much. But I still think... I think we might need to buy ourselves another sprinkler. We've got room in this little garage here. We've got room for two more things. I think we need ourselves another sprinkler to water two fields at the same time. Because that sprinkler has been there for quite a long time. It's been there for ages. And that field needs some uh, some, some water loving. That needs a little bit of water. That needs a bit of water as well. So we've got three fields kind of in need of water. Even though it's pouring with rain and there's a storm. But um, yeah, so I think we need to buy another sprinkler as well. So let's go and do that whilst we're here, just to, you know, to make sure that our operations are going absolutely fine. So uh, sprayers and watering. Sprinkler good condition, I assume there's no... Yeah, it's only 1,900 anyway, it's absolutely fine. So a sprinkler, let's buy that. I can't sell... Oh no, I don't want to sell it! Oh, crikey's. Okay, that could have gone stupidly wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Okay, yeah, there we go. Right, press the right button next time, you silly man. Uh, yeah, okay, let's put that into the small garage area and we'll come back and use that very shortly. Now, another thing I noticed was this field here is ready for cultivating. So let's cultivate that with uh, not you, with anyone else. Uh, there you go, Theo Johnston. You should be able to get that done fairly quick. There's also, there's quite a lot going on now. Cucumbers are ready to come out. The peppers are ready to come out. Can we do that with that? Okay, yep. So we'll get some peppers, get some money from the peppers. We then want to make sure that this field is then cultivated because very soon the bees are going to start making honey and they're going to be making the wrong sort of honey. So we need the colza and the buckwheat in kind of right now. And our double tractor sprinkler operation is underway and it's looking pretty good, if I'm honest. It's looking pretty good. So the sprinkler is in here and now the other sprinkler is going to go into that field over there. The big pear orchard at the back, one of the two. And there we go. So that's good. That'll keep that going. We've harvested a lot of peppers, which is very, very lovely. Right, let's slow time down. What on earth is going on? Right, that field has been cultivated and moisturised. Right, uh, we need it to be fertilised, because otherwise the crops will die and the bees will be making, uh, well, regular honey, because the crops will be dead. So, okay, let's do that. You two will be fine. That one is being cultivated. Now, the only thing is, I made that field a little bit bigger. It doesn't need to be that big, so it takes an extra little bit of time for them to work on that field, which is probably a little bit silly of me in hindsight, but never mind. Cucumbers are ready to come out now. Do I want to do that, or do I want to get these done? Because now I need to check the state of these. Uh, that's cultivated. That's... Yeah, we need to get these sorted. Right, let's fertilise this. Let's get this done. Auto-fill that. Yes. Let's at least get this working. 
Let's at least get one of these things functioning. That'll be quite good. So if we do that, that's good. And do you know what? I think we do need to get some extra people in. We need to get some extra people in. And they need to be here all year round as well. Because still stuff is going on all year round. You know, all these will need to be worked on all year round. These will also be a, a year long thing. So I think another one person is probably not going to be a bad thing. Let's hire one more person that's good at working on orchards. Perhaps the orchards and strength would be useful. Matilda Atkinson. This does confuse me. Let's take a look at Matilda Atkinson. Let's hire her. Put her into house number six. Let's take a look at her. This confuses me a little bit. So, she's got endurance. That's fine. Let's up that a little bit. That's absolutely fine. Then she's got a plant skill. The skill to care for plants affects the size of the harvest. None out of five. Well, surely everyone else has got none out of five plant skills as well. So how can I train you in it when you've got no skill in it? I don't understand, but whatever. There you go. So an extra person is on board, which is very, very good. Now, yeah, that needs cultivating. So can we now do that with you lot? Yes. Okay. That's good. That needs fertilising, so let's go and do that if we can. Inside the greenhouse, Ugh, I would not fancy doing that, but there we go. Loads of loads of manure available, which is good. And then cultivating. Can we cultivate anything? Yes, we can. Splendid. Okay, so now we can get that done. This is good. They're still working on this down here. So yeah, it's becoming, it's becoming a little bit more complicated with a slightly bigger farm. But I, I think we're okay. We need to start growing some tomatoes, though, because currently the juice factory is doing absolutely nothing. The three fields that have been watered are looking pretty good. That's looking all okay. And now we're coming down to the apple field, which actually is looking like the rain is affecting the apple field because the moisture is going up. I've not watered it. So I think that is okay. So right now, the four orchard fields are looking pretty good. So work is going on down here now. We're getting these two fields fertilized in order to put the colza and the buckwheat in. That field is so nearly done. Come on, just top that one off. Come on, George Webb and Isaac Hammond. You can get in there and do that. It needs a tiny bit. It's probably like a bit in the corner or something that needs doing. Come on, get on with it. Just the last little bits. And then when that's done, there we go. When that's done, we can then plant the crops in. And at least we'll have something. At least we'll have the bees if they do start sort of working, you know, making honey. We should get at least something out of it. So let's have buckwheat in the little field because that made the most. We have enough resources. Yay, that's good news. Um, oh, no, not the tractor drivers, though. They may be required to do tractor driving. Uh, George Webb and Isaac Hammond. Yep, yeah, back on that field, please. Thank you very much. This field also. Yep, yeah, let's do the same thing again. But let's get Colza. Let's put time down as, as slow because I keep speeding through. People keep pointing that out. They're like, you're speeding through time. And so keeps happening and you're faffing up with one thing flying through. I also need to do some training, don't I? Right. Order the colza seeds. What else is going on? These are ready to be harvested. Let's get those out the ground. Uh, yep, you're all good. Let's have that. Thank you very much, because that will make us some monies. And training-wise, what do we want to do now? Uh, yeah, I've kind of... The, the cow... The, the animals are kind of just now ticking over quite nicely. They're bringing the money in. They're making the monies. So, um, yeah, maybe we need to concentrate on the crops and things like that. I quite like this. The strength of employees by 20%. 14 days for five grand. Let's do both of those, actually. Let's get our empl employees the strongest they can be. So five grand, that is not very much at all. 14 days will fly by fairly quick. Right, the buckwheat is in. The colza is set to be planted. So hopefully, we should then start seeing the honey as soon as this is in. So at the minute, we might see some buckwheat honey, possibly, and nothing else. The temperature has dipped back below eight. Is April a bit early for honey? Possibly. But whatever the case, it's going to be ready. So these fields are going to be ready. Absolutely fine. We'll have a buckwheat field. We'll have a colza field. It should be good. And we should see a nice, maybe not equal balance, but a more leveled balance of the three t honey types than we did previously. Quick check on the price of tomato juice. And it has indeed fallen by quite some way. So yeah, I'm going to keep hold of that still. Uh, again, October is going to go off. So yeah, I'm going to keep hold of it for a bit. Just to see if that creeps back up. Because that's a bit rubbish. Yeah, it's plummeting even more. I'm going to get less for it now. Yep, $200 or whatever money. Whatever unit of currency I'm working in. 200 money is less now. So yep, still going to keep hold of the tomato juice. Now I'm aware that time is passing by and nothing is happening with tomatoes. We're not growing any tomatoes in here. Most of these are ready. I think a couple at the end need fertilising, which is fine. We can work on that. I wish it stopped putting the tractor people in. It's like, no, I don't want the tractor people in. There, right, like that. I think that one is fertilising as well, which is fine. So if we pick manure, and then all right, let's pick the people, shall we? Because you're only going to put them back in. You're going to put the tractor people back in, aren't you? So like that, which is fine. Lots of cucumbers are harvested. That's lovely. Are cucumbers on the auto trade thing? I think they are. Yes, they are. Right. 1,000 kilograms of cucumbers to sell. That'll be quite nice. Mentoring training 2 is finished. 
Let's go and get mentoring training three, unless it takes like 100 days or something stupid. 16 days to increase the strength to third by, well, by 30%. I shouldn't mean over their initial starting one, not by another 30%. Because we've done it 10, we've done it 20. I shouldn't doesn't mean by another 30%. But yeah, 10 grand, 16 days. Let's get that, because that means our staff can stay out longer and do more stuff, which is very good. So yeah, now all these are ready to have something put in. So here we go. Let's go and order how many tomato things we're going to need. Let's have a look. How much does it tell me? Tomato seedlings. So 62 ooze of tomato seedlings we're going to need for one greenhouse. So I don't know what 62 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is. So what we'll do is we'll do it on a sort of a case by case thing because they'll go off as well otherwise. So let's buy 62 ooze for that. And let's also buy 62 ooze of it for there as well. So let's do it in twos. Let's do two of those. Wait for it to arrive. Plant the tomatoes. It shall all be splendid. Everything down here is looking okay. Nothing to be harvested right now, but it's all looking pretty good. Planting is underway in the first two greenhouses. So let's go through and do a couple more. So yeah, tomato seedlings, 62 ooze of those. And again, another 62, which is absolutely lovely. So yeah, we'll get that done. They'll be delivered. So yeah, we'll have four. Four done, then another two, and then that last one. And I think that should have us in pretty good stead. Now, the only annoying thing is that the tomato juice prices have indeed slumped, which is a little bit irritating. But never mind, let's just have another quick check, just see if they're creeping back up in any way. Not really. What are they now? 11.4. So they're 200 less than they were previously the last time I checked. So, yeah, it's not going particularly well for the tomato juice at the minute. But maybe that creeps up. Maybe sort of it gets toward a sort of the, uh, whatever, end of summer, start of autumn, slash fall, depending on where you are in the world. Um, yeah, maybe the prices go up a little bit. So we can keep them. There's no rush for them. We can keep them in there until October. So let's sell them when the price is at their highest. And honey production has started. We've got 102 buckwheat, 112 multiflower, and 109 colza. So yeah, it seems fairly evenly spread between the three, which is good. I like that. Possibly a tad more multiflower than everything else. I'm just going to go through and check them. So I guess this can indeed see both flowers. Right, okay, yeah, good. And that one over there can see the colza. Yeah, okay, good. So that's good. So that little operation there should... That'll make us quite a bit of money per year, which is very nice. What was my little nagging message? Collect some wheat. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to do that before uh, in two months. So, yeah, let's reject that. That is not going to happen. I'm very sorry. Now, we do have here tomatoes being harvested. They will be going to the thing. So, we should get some more tomato juice coming through. And then, yeah, I think we can probably scrap that as a tomato food and put something else in. So, yeah, maybe another food of cucumbers, maybe. We need to obliterate that as well. Don't be very shortly. So, these are slowly going in. Two lots are going in. Yeah, we can do this one now, I think. So we can get ourselves some more tomato seedlings. Let's put them in. Okie dokie. Do you know what as well? Well, let's put the last two in. So let's order these. So order another 62 ooze of those. Yep, some tomatoes have been harvested. Jolly good. And the last lot of tomato seedlings to be ordered. We'll get those planted and then they should all be in. It shall be all very, very splendid indeed. And then, yeah, maybe we'll wait for the next one to obliterate the tomatoes out of there. Maybe we'll wait until next time because, uh, yeah, they're already halfway through as it is. So, uh, oh no, weeds! Where? Oh no, not on one of those fields. Quick, we need to obliterate the weeds. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, Anti-weeds. Go and do that, anybody. Tractor driver and rob it. Can we have someone else that isn't a tractor driver, please? Theo, go and do that, please. Go and get rid of the weeds. Also, does this need watering? Oh, it needs watering quite a lot as well, doesn't it? Do you know what? You can both do that. That'll take no time at all to go and water that field. That is absolutely fine. And mentoring training three is done, which is jolly exciting. So now what do we want to go for? Because now we're kind of working our way through quite a lot of the training. So I don't quite know what to do. Let's have this then. Let's increase the maximum price of products by 7%. That's probably quite a good thing to have. Or the wear of machines. Do you know what? The wear of machines. One and a half grand for seven days. Let's just get a little bit of training done and out of the way. And I think we can then plant the tomatoes into these greenhouses. So we'll get on with that. Oh, now, as a matter of urgency, we need to water the orchard fields quite quickly. Machines, yes, go and do that, please. And it's a good job we can actually double up on these because, yeah, that water level is coming down pretty quick. So, yeah, let's do the ones at the back first. Do the pear orchards, then do these ones. If you could do those really quick, that'd be great. Oh, no, sick animals. Call the vet. We've got a poorly chicken. 
So we have finished our training. Maintenance of machines is now better. And also look at this. We've got the seven tomato greenhouses. Now I've realized I'm saying tomato. I wonder how many of you people watching in America are going, ah, that's very British. It's tomato or tomato, whatever you say. Yeah, we say tomato over here. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. But you guys don't say potato. So I never really understood that song. It's a bit weird. So these things are all done. They're all done. They should now slowly start growing that red fruit there, which the name of which is slightly debatable. And um, we need to do some more training. So here we go. Let's pick another training thing. Now, I would like to pick ones that don't lead on to anything else. Because then we can just get them out of the way. We can just sort of tick them off and go, right, it's gone. That's fine. Good job. Um, a larger harvest by 10% would be quite good for fruit growers. 60 days. They won't be ready in 60 days, I don't think. So let's do that. Let's get the larger harvest for fruit by 10%. So 60 days that's going to take. How long? Well, actually, yeah, we might start watering these, actually thinking about it. 98 days. And let's get these watered. Because we did the other ones. They've gone back. So let's do these ones. Oh, crikey, yes. Definitely go and water that, please. Yeah, let's go and do that. They should be okay. Yep, in terms of moisture and stuff. Yep, they're fine. That one's coming down already. Crikeys, we need to keep on top of these. They are, they are very thirsty. Orchards are very, very thirsty indeed. Everything else is ticking over quite nicely. So we can get rid of that next time. The tomato field, the tomato field, the tomato greenhouse can be replaced next time. The cheese factory is making cheese because there wasn't there and it's not been sold. The bees are making an absolute load of honey, which is lovely. We got milk, we got tomatoes, we've got some of the uh, tomato juice. Has it gone up at all? I bet it hasn't. Is it near the bottom? There it is. Now we've got quite a lot of it. Oh, it, the price is just absolutely crumbling for tomato juice. Okay. Fine, we've still got another five months to hang on to it. So we'll make sure, it might be a case where we just sell it all in one big go again. In five months time, we just sell it and make a fairly hefty profit off it. But it's sort of not repaying for itself right now. That's all that's in that small warehouse as well. It's 5,500 bottles of tomato juice just sitting there. Do you know what? I don't even like tomato juice. I like apple juice. I don't think I've ever really had cherry juice as such. Like, I don't think I've had cherry juice as natively on its own. Not just, just a glass of squished cherries. I've never had that. I like apple juice a lot. No, never had cherries. But yeah, tomato juice I don't really like. I'm not a big fan, to be honest. But they will slowly start growing. That's lovely. That'll supply these. We can then take that out. Do you know what? Let's do that now. In fact, we need to do some work on this anyway. Because that needs recultivating. So yes, let's obliterate that with you guys. And in the end, yes, let's do this. Let's cultivate that. Let's take those tomatoes out. Why the heck not? And with that done, I think we are going to call it a day right now because we've done pretty well. We've done pretty well thus far. We've had a big sort of shift of stuff up here and all our orchards are looking very, very good indeed. It's looking very exciting. I think next time out when we play, hopefully we'll get to a point where the orchards are actually uh, coming to fruit. You know, we can harvest the orchards. How long is that? 95 days. So I think we'll get to that. We'll be able to harvest the orchards and then we can see how we deal with the influx of apples and cherries into the juice plant. I suspect what we're going to have to do is turn off tomatoes, 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 turn that off. So bring all, well, literally untick it and bring all that down, untick it and then split our time between the apples and cherries until such a point as when either we've used all the apples and cherries up, which I don't think is going to happen because we can get a lot. Or we've had to then sell the apples and the cherries because they're going to go off. So when we've done as much as we can with the apples and cherries, we then can switch tomatoes back on and they'll continue with our tomato juice production throughout the rest of the year until the next year when all this kind of cycle will happen all over again. But yeah, there we go. It's very exciting. We shall see that next time out. I'm quite looking forward to that. I'm quite looking forward to seeing the profit margins of the of the uh, cherry juice and the profit margins of the apple juice. And it shall be very good and we shall be rolling in cash. I mean, I'm quite a rich farmer, I think. 962,000 dollars whatever it is seems quite a lot i must be a very wealthy farmer indeed so that's quite encouraging must be doing something half right anyway but that is it for now if you have enjoyed this please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in the lovely people's farm but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time flying rhinos are not allowed pink hippos are fine but no flying rhinos doing that for that length of time is making me feel very uncomfortable you're like violating me with your weird zebra eyes get off mystic okay this is just an acid trip if we can crash into a rainbow then something is fundamentally wrong with the world whoa you cheating giraffe git